final days can make you feel like that. Remember that pain, process it, and do all in your power to avoid it next time, assuming you're young enough to have one. Our three prospective first-time champions all walked away with a prize, but which one would dance over his rival's tears to the beat of a pounded dohyo? Before that, other affairs were settled. Division 6 contested by two Sakai schoolmates turned stablemates, Koto Tebakari and Koto Kenryu. It's a match they've had a thousand times before. Hence, when the right hooks on, even if not his preferred inside grip, Tebakari knows it's his to lose. And for the second meet running, does his family name adorn a title certificate? I told myself not to be nervous before the crowd, but there were butterflies, the champion admitted. And on the bout itself, he said, He can do various tachiais, so I just focused on getting mine across. And once I hit that stance, I thought I could take him. His immediate goal remains Division 2. Division 5 also went to the wire. Toratetsu and Nakashima, as explained on Friday, facing off. And the heavy favourite lost. Nakashima unable to clamp his way out of a double frontal grip and giving things up before they turned nasty. I'm sorry to all those I put out when recovering from injury, said Toratetsu of his six-month knee problem. I'm happy to have repaid some of that support with this title, he added. I still want to aim for Division 3 or even Division 2 with my own style. In the latter of those, Ryuden also sought to repay countless folk with a win here. taking him to his first Division 2 crown at 31. I'm happy simply to be fighting and want to keep such gratitude in mind going forward, Ryuden said. This time it was good I demanded high standards of sumo from myself. He's now taken honours at every level bar the top one. <laughs> And then came the climax. Mitake Umi's mother was in the crowd, presumably having bought her ticket before her son lost to Kotonowaka, thus ceding challenger rights to him. Kotonowaka had gone 3-0 against rival Horshoryu before losing their last two. Which way would the pendulum swing today? Towards Horshoryu, who holds his career high rank and will surely build on this. The normally impassive Waka admitted this was a bitter defeat and has vowed to learn the lessons. For him, a second fighting spirit gong 
in nine weeks. Which meant over to Takayasu, reassured, we hoped, by no three-way playoff. For one long year had he been forced to answer for this. And all near misses before it. Tagonuda stable chokes when it matters, the critics clamoured. Could he face those critics down once and for all? Can you even watch this? Must a man again suffer so in full public view? Had Abby jumped him from behind, he could scarce have seemed more surprised. And caught between left knee defense and rightward sprint, he tries both at once and turns his back, falling right in front of his greatly emboldened rival. He neither wants to see that reaction, nor this one from Sumo's foremost expert. Abi, meanwhile, keeps Sekiwake. Thus was Waka Takakage in dreamland, on his own at the final step. The omens were perfect. Brother Waka Takamoto had escaped from a losing position. Brother Wakamoto Haru had gotten the narrowest of wins without a judge's query. Written in the Sumo Stars, wasn't it? Or possibly not, as Shodai, freed from the shackles of demotion worry, slipped out of the arm lock, clamped from the left and held with the right, going forward the instant Waka pulled back. All three contenders down, and a crestfallen Takayasu handed a lifeline via a playoff. Five years ago to the tournament day, had his senior colleague Kiseno Sato won a sensational playoff on this very stage to claim his second and final title. Built largely on the back of his work, he, Takayasu, had checked two of Kisei's rivals. His participation in that title parade, and the one before, had inspired him to take the trophy himself, to be the focus of that parade. Ringside was hit by his jet blast of yearning. <laughs> Earmuffs needed for the grunt. But Wakatakakage heard and looked, then surmised. Takayasu would charge too hard. And the charge was parried. Having suffered with Kisena Sato, and now by himself, who can blame Takayasu for fighting like a man with a grudge against fortune? The more he's robbed, the angrier he gets. And the closer he comes to that crucial win, the more he worries that fortune will mock him again. He's just expecting to go down. And that's why we feel for him. A fifth Fighting Spirit prize and tenth special prize overall is no replacement 
for that one priceless touch of the Emperor's Cup. I gave my all, the 32-year-old said, between sighs, and I still lost. Hence, my training didn't suffice. I hope you can train in what he lacks. For Wakataka Kage then, 11 years to the month since his hometown was raised in the tsunami, the honour of being first title winner on Sekiwake debut since 1936. Over these past 11 years, I really feel I've given my all for the folks back home, and that they can really see that, he said. In the final match, somehow, I stayed in. Just went with the flow, really. The flow which took him to another technique prize, and a first push for Ozeki. A win over Shodai would have netted him outstanding performance, too. Well, there you have it. 13 days on location in Osaka. A first for the channel, and none too easy. But three things sustain me. Firstly, the Sugiyama pocketbook of Sumo. Never travel here without it. Secondly, this signed photo of Shishi, to whom I donated this month, and which arrived by mail the next day. Judging by the creases, it's from his personal collection, and I shall treasure this forever. And thirdly, as ever, you your time and your comments. I've learned now who my core audience is. Smaller than I thought, as the view count shows, but that's okay. You're all the support I need, and it's a pleasure to post for you.